Welcome to part 2 of my mini-series of Brother Security videos. In this one, I'm going to show you how I installed and set up the Windows Active Directory Certificate Services for use in some of my other videos. Please note that it is a continuation from part 1 where I explained how I installed and configured Windows Active Directory. Unless you are watching this as a refresher course, I recommend you watch part 1 first. A link to it is on the screen as well as in the description. In this video, I'm going to install the Windows Active Directory Certificate Services role, and then configure it using the same settings I will use later in other videos. Let's get started with this video by installing the Active Directory Certificate Services role, which I am going to do from the Server Manager. From it, I will click the Add Roles and Features button, then keep clicking the Next button until I get to the Server Roles menu. where I will select the Active Directory Certificate Services option. Then we'll click the Next button until I get to the Role Services menu. Where I will ensure that the Certificate Authority option is selected, as well as the Certificate Authority Web Enrollment option where it will want me to install some other required features. I will allow this by clicking the Add Features button. I am now going to keep clicking the Next button until I get to the final confirmation screen, where I will click the Install button, which will begin the installation of my Active Directory Certificate Services role. Now that it has complete, I'm going to click the Close button. I am now ready to configure the Certificate Services role. Please note that I am going to apply the same settings that I use in some of my other training videos. This is simply to support them. To do this, I need to go back to the Server Manager and click this little yellow triangle. Then click the Configure Active Directory Certificate Services on this server button. The Configuration Wizard will load, where I will click the Next button. Then select both the role services I installed earlier before clicking the Next button. I need to ensure that the Enterprise CA option is selected, then click the Next button. I am also going to ensure that the Root CA option is selected, before clicking the Next button again. Here I am going to accept the default settings and click the Next button again. I want to change my Certificate Authority's common name into something a bit easier to recognise. Before clicking the Next button, until I get to the confirmation screen. Where I will click the Configure button. This will configure my Certificate Services server using the settings I provided. Once it is ready, I can click the Close button. The Active Directory Certificate Services role is now ready. I will finish this video with a short summary. I started by installing the Windows Active Directory Certificate Services role, which I then configured to be used later in this mini video series. A link to part 3 is now on your screen, as well as in the description. Thank you for watching.